is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got another POV driving video. I just did the review on this 2024 Toyota Crown Limited. Uh, this is pretty much the mid-range trim. You have the XLE, that's the base trim for this new Crown, the Limited, and then the Platinum. Now the Platinum, that is really the more fun trim um, for these Toyota Crowns. It comes with the 2.4 liter turbo inline four versus this one's 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four. All of them are also not plug-in either. They all have like a regener regenerative system, excuse me. But the one that's actually in their showroom, that's the, uh, that's the platinum one. Uh, that one actually makes over 300 horsepower and up to 400 foot-pounds of torque versus this one that's only at like 230 horsepower. But before we even get into today's video, got to give a quick shout out to Sandstone Toyota. They're here on Route 1 North in Avenel, New Jersey. They're letting me take this crown out today. I literally just did their Prius as well, and I've done so many of their cars in the past few years or so. If you're in the tri-state area and you're looking for a new or used Toyota, definitely be sure to go check them out. But now talking about just kind of how I feel driving this new Crown. And if you're new to my channel uh, and you want to see more about the actual specs and details, just go go watch the review I did on it. It should be up on the channel before I, I do this video. But yeah, that's where I actually kind of go through my notes and kind of talk about all the numbers and different things like that and what you'd actually want to hear about the drivetrain and different features of this car. Whereas the POV videos, I kind of just show you guys what it looks like on the inside and talk about my general feelings for this car. And I know I mentioned this during the review, but it almost feels as though this new Toyota Crown has like an identity crisis almost because it's a rather large, you know, four door luxury sedan. But at the same time, you know, it has the economy of something that is, you know, much smaller than its size. And it also has plenty of daily drivability and just practicality about it as well. Uh, one thing that I found very interesting when I was just doing the B-roll for the review is when I popped the trunk, just the amount of space that it has back there is wild. And yes, it does have a full like second row, it seats five. One thing that I don't really like about that second row though is that there's this like kind of bump that comes down and if you're as tall as I am, which is, I'm right at six foot even, you can actually hit your head like if the driver actually like slams on the brakes or whatever. So that's one thing that I found kind of weird about it and I didn't really like that much. And also, I mean, as far as leg room's concerned, you have plenty as the driver and you have plenty as the passenger. But when the passenger seat is all the way back like this, the person in the second row is not gonna have that much space, which is kind of unfortunate. But besides that, I mean, the interior is pretty standard across the board. There's nothing too crazy, but it does have the 12.3 inch infotainment system that does come with the new Toyota models. And I, I've talked about this infotainment system before with the other new Toyota models that I filmed on the channel. I absolutely love it. It works very, very easily. It's very user friendly and it has the wireless like Apple CarPlay too. So if you wanted to connect your phone uh, via Bluetooth, you can go through all that as well. I also love all these different buttons and their design, how you can kind of just go up and down with them and just turning the air down a little bit to show how it works. I also do apologize if the audio is a little bit messed up because I have the air blasting. It's currently 95 degrees outside. And when I was doing the Prius review before my GoPro, was overheating like crazy. So I don't really want that to happen again because that makes things a lot more complicated. So that's why I've been blasting the air, but I do apologize if that has kind of messed up the audio. Now looking at your like speedo and kind of fake tack that these new uh, hybrids have, you can see that it has the charge mode, which is all the way down, which if I actually break up here, it will go into that. Yeah, see I'm breaking now and it kind of that's where you get that regenerative system. That's how you know it's actually uh, recharging the battery. And then you have the eco mode, which goes about halfway up and then the power, which again, if you just stomp on it, the internal combustion engine will go all out as well as it will, you know, use all that power from the hybrid system as well. But just driving around town, it's in eco mode pretty much the entire time. You also have a little like kind of battery level gauge over like inside the speedo right there. So that definitely is something that's pretty good. Uh, you have your range right down there, which right now, again, I've already been driving it for a decent amount of time and it's still at 458 
uh, miles, which is great. But yeah, honestly, I really do, you know, like this new Crown. It's very, very enjoyable to drive. Has a nice floaty suspension, which definitely makes it very comfortable. However, you're definitely gonna get a lot more body roll, especially with this one being a bit of a bigger body, uh, you know, in the corners. But again, when you're just daily driving it, when you're driving it like this, just commuting, that's really not that big of a deal. As far as safety is concerned, it does have the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. So if I kind of go to change lanes without putting on my blinker, it will kind of auto correct you. And also on top of that, like if I went too close to this guy, yeah, see this entire screen comes on uh, automatically, which I think is something pretty cool. And then when they kind of just move up a little bit, uh, it'll, it'll eventually go back off. So it's not really annoying, but I love that you got the kind of eagle eye 360 view, and then you have that front camera as well. Now, if you're backing into something and that screen comes on it'll actually show you the back camera instead of the front camera but now since we're kind of tailgating this person at the red light you can see the front and then th the 360 as well so that is a really really nice feature that i honestly i don't know if i even saw before in some of the newer toyota models that i filmed as well it's just not popping into my memory as of right now but plenty of different features with the toyota safety sense 3.0 i kind of talked about it more in some of my other reviews but it pretty much has every safety feature you would want a modern car to have you can see actually as people were coming up the blind spot like little light on the side side view mirrors were going off obviously on this side not on that side i don't know why i was pointing over there but you do have it on both sides and also while we are just sitting at this light i kind of want to take this time to just go over the wireless charging yeah see this one is kind of finicky as well all right there you go it's kind of working now it has like little side pieces to hold your phone in place but yeah i just did the the review on the 2023 prius and that's the Prius's wireless charging system was actually like this like little slit like right in here could not get it to work whatsoever this one works well the 2025 Camry that I did works very well because the the Camry it's just like your kind of traditional pad but this one is actually very very nice you can feel the magnet and like it's not I don't think like if I went over a pothole or anything it's just going to kind of fall down uh, so that is something again that you also get as well you can also kind of go through your different driving modes you have eco normal and then sport so I'll, I'll i'll leave it in sport just for this last like little highway pull before we get back to the dealership and just see how that's like so immediately the internal combustion engine goes on a lot quicker in the sport mode than it does for the normal mode and now stepping on it i'm sure the shift points would be changed yeah it revs out a lot higher and it feels like yeah, I know that. That kind of feels crazy. I mean, obviously, I do have to slow down and blocking out the blocking out the speed thing because it actually shows the speed limit of the road you're on. Yeah, no, it feel it feels very very good in sport mode, honestly. Um, but now going back over to normal, it has that kind of traditional that like little screen display where it shows the body of the car you get that in the other new uh, toyota models as well but yeah this one is pretty much just brand new it has around 30 something miles on it but yeah now pulling back into sansone toyota's lot this one was honestly a, a blast to drive again if you're into or you're in the market for a new toyota used toyota whatever you're in the tri-state area definitely be sure to check them out their website link will be down in the description and also again definitely feel free to you know leave a like subscribe all that stuff is absolutely free and helps me out a ton on the channel but anyways that's pretty much just gonna be it for me today i hope you all have a great rest of the day and i'll see you guys in the next one